Yeah, you know, we've been building up all week for it and it was, uh, you know, everyone's making it top two um, game, whatever, and the fact that they were above us in the league and the pressure was on because they played the night before as well. Uh, we played Glandudno and, you know, if they'd, have, if they'd have beaten us and then gone even further ahead, it would have been, uh, you know, it would have been a, a tough task, even even this early in the season. So it was, it was nice to get the win and the performance um, was very pleasing. Some, some very good individual performances but on a whole I thought um, we didn't really look in trouble apart from a couple of deflections that they got what have you um, but I thought overall we, we competed very well uh, We just managed it there a little bit before we came on and uh, started recording uh, brilliant golf Marin Edwards um, showed why he's been in the team so long and fantastic way to um, open the scoring Yes you know week in week out um, he's, been, he's been fantastic for us whether he's playing in a deeper role, whether he gets forward, his energy, um, his determination, his desire, his drive, everything that you want from, from a professional, um, willingness to win, he, he always gives you that. So, nice to see. He's equaled his, um, his best tally for league goals already. And we're still in October, so uh, there's more to come from him. I'm sure he'll want to add to that and get to double figures and, uh, and really push on and have another good season. So, yes, uh, he was one that stood out, but... Um, you know the back four were great. Chris Marriott with with two assists, um, who's been who's been fantastic for the last uh, six weeks, two months. And on the other side, Spen's getting back to his best on that side. And obviously, the two centre backs were um, were, in a, were in a real battle as well to to keep their um, you know Andy Owens at bay, who's a, who's a good strong forward. And then throwing it forward now, this weekend it's a trip to Lakeland Park to take on Utah. Uh, they've been on a good front of form themselves recently, winning four in the last five matches, yeah. including an impressive three in the win at Carnarvon last time. Yeah. That's going to be another difficult test for the side, isn't it? Yeah, New Town, it's, it's always added. Added sort of, you call it a derby, it's not that far away, but it's, it's, it's a close game that we usually have around Christmas time and New Year and, and, and things like that. So they, New Town, one of them teams that you know, they always want to beat us. They always want to try that extra little bit. They always give 10, 20% more than they usually probably do um, because it's TNS and they want... To, to beat us you know last season it was we were 2-0 down half time um, and we came back to win 3-2 it was a fantastic match and uh, really enjoyable even though we were 2-0 down at half time I, I came in and said look you win the game 3-2 but you have to get back into the game as early as possible uh, I just had a feeling on that day that, that we would come back and win the game and uh, it proved to be the case but they're always tight games and, and new time will be, will be uh, obviously wanting to get one over us um, without intending to be disrespectful in any way, I think it's a surprise for many people to see Newtown so high up in the table. Yeah. I guess that's just a testament to the job that Chris Hughes has done at Newtown as far this season. Yes, and with um, you know, with, with not a massive budget and, and with players he's bringing in that he makes the signings, you know, a calculated signing. He knows um, sort of the players before um, he brings them in. He's he's um, he's obviously got a few younger boys from Shrewsbury in. He's uh, he does his homework on the signings, which is. Which is credit to him. So, you know, signings are key, and, and on, a, on a limited budget, they are doing very well. And to see them up there and, and doing so well, it's uh, it's pleasing. Uh, it's one of my former clubs, and I like to see them doing well. And then so far this season, then the New Saints have scored 35 goals in just 11 matches and letting in just seven in the process. Yeah. And you've also got a goal difference equal to that of every other team with a positive goal difference. So you must be quite confident of getting the result though this weekend at Utah. We're confident of of winning every single game because on paper games aren't played on paper but if our team matched up against the opposition in our league we should win home and away um, there's no doubt about it you know we're the best team in the league we just have to prove it we have to keep doing it yes it's difficult every single game where you're expected to win but that's why the club have been so successful week in week out uh, training games we're usually spot on we'll come into a period in, in the season where um, we'll come into our own and um, get that consistency. So, yes, we're not disrespectful because we have to earn the right to play and, and dominate and, and go and win games. But um, certainly the squad we've got is is better, um, stronger than everyone else in the league. doesn't say that you always win games with that, though. Mentality's got to be right. 
And then with Connors keep playing their match uh, this Friday night, there's a chance they could return back to the top of the table before Saturday's game. Is that something as a manager you consider, or is it just a case of focus on our own results and then the rest will all fall into place? Yeah, you can't look at. I always look at the fixtures and who's playing who at the weekend, but you can't get wrapped up in that too much because it's out of our hands and we can only look after our jobs. You know, yes, if we win against Newtown, we we're, we're top of the league, whatever. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, they've got uh, Konski have got uh, Carnarvon away as well, haven't they? Which is it's not an easy place to go. So. Let us do um, our work and worry about everyone else um, after our result. And then finally, Scott, as always, what's the general injury situation like within the squad? Yes, um, Sis is still out. We've got um, a couple of little niggles, but they'll be back hopefully for training on Friday, uh, ready for Saturday. Um, and Blaine will be touch and go for Saturday because he's, um, he's got uh, an illness. So he's, uh, he'll be off for the rest of the week and it'll be decided on um, Friday whether he'll be playing for Saturday.